How specifically were those things? Um, they got to the paint. Um, Bradley got some jump shots off early. Um, they got into transition. Um, you know, a lot of things we can control, um, but they played well. I mean, you, you tip the hat. They came out aggressively, um, aggressive, and, and, and they protected their home court. They played like a, a desperate team in game three. With so many young guys, in the first or first or second experience of class, is there, is there a difference you notice them when they go and play on the road? No, I mean I think our team is, is, is we're all kind of in this together. You know, I think we're all. Yesterday was a, a a full team effort of not playing well. I think it wasn't one or two. It was just everyone. We just didn't play well as a unit, and that's everyone. Now, when you're evaluating defense and, and they're like you know, 10 of 10 in transition, something like that, a lot of those are off of turnovers. Yeah. How do you separate? Their, your defensive struggles from your offensive struggles, right? Because you're not turning it over. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we, if we get better shots and we don't turn the ball over. You know, they're playing a different pace. They're playing a little bit more half court. Um, we can have, I mean, they had 26 points off turnovers, I think. I mean, that's a lot of points right there. I mean, you just take away 20 of those. You know what I mean? Just, just us controlling, taking care of the ball a little bit better. We, we had a better. We're in a better situation than we were yesterday. The edge that you guys played with in game one and game two. We got to play every game like a game seven, and we didn't play that game three like a game seven, and, uh, and that's just that. That's what happened. We did not play that game three like a game seven. So our game four got to be played like a game seven. We have to go out there and just channel everything we got and leave it on that floor. Where do you guys miss Fred the most? Uh, I think it's just that. That second unit, that continuity in the second unit, sorry about that. Um, the continuity in the second unit, those guys having a better flow together. Um, you know, we're trying to, you know, Norm coming in, um, LB's coming in, you know, they're playing me a little bit more with the unit coming in earlier. Um, you know, it's just a lot of things that are different, but, you know, Fred just keeping that, you know, kind of that, that calm consistency that the, that group has had. Yeah, it just seems like most of the times in the playoffs at this time of year, it's the offensive struggles. Has been what we've been talking about. You, know, you guys are averaging, I think, 113 per 100 possessions, but the defense is still yeah. just, I mean, it's always just, something. I, guess. I mean, it's always something, but, you know, we struggled a little bit to end the season, you know, defensively. We had a couple good, you know, stretches of games defensively. Um, we just got to get our defensive, uh, just our mindset back, and um, we got to make it more of a half court game. Is there a difference between the way you guys kind of digest the playoff box now compared to I think I think every loss we digest and, and understand and learn from it. You know, it's all all part of our journey. Um, you know, every single loss we've had this year, every single win we've had this year, every single practice has been a part of our journey. And I think we're just continue to grow in our journey. Um, just break down the loss a little bit more in detail, more film, a little bit more kind of okay, this, that, and other. But every every day is a, just a, a bigger step or a next step in our journey. Now, what's the mood like? I mean, you guys had everything go well for a week, and then you kind of got punched in the face yesterday. Yeah, man. I'm st I still look. I, I, I no, no, nah, nah, it's uh, we're fine. I mean, it's a loss. They, we were not happy at all. But you know, we can't go out there and be like, well, we gotta go out there and play again. There's another game tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, we got a great practice in, great filming. Um, everyone's kind of we're communicating, and that's the biggest thing. We have to communicate, all be on the same page, and know that we have a bigger goal. And every day is a step to our goal. You think they kind of did you a little favor in, in making the game a little chippy and um, like I don't know. Uh, like it's pretty easy to. No, I mean, they, that, was, that was just the game. That was, it was game game one and two, and then game three was chippy. Game four might be different game. It might be chippy. Who knows? So you guys aren't focused on that? No, no. Yeah. Now, when you, when you talk about that game seven mentality, you guys go with it tomorrow. It's not going to all right with a win. Go home three, one, a chance to close out. We go home. We, we go in this game like a game seven. That we it's a must win for us, and we have to go out there and play extremely hard. And that's all we can do is play as hard as possible. We have to play and leave it all out there. Leave everything out there. How, how important is it to not let a series like take take care of a series as quick as you can? It's, like, it, it's, just, it's the first of four. No matter how many games you take, first of four.